Welcome to A Course in Miracles. We're on Lesson 317. I follow in the way appointed me. I have a special place to fill, a role for me alone. Salvation waits until I take this part as what I chose to do, as what I choose to do. Until I make this choice, I am the slave of time and human destiny. But when I willingly and gladly go the way my father's plan appointed me to go, then I will recognize salvation is already here, already given all my brothers and sisters, and already mine as well. Father, your way is what I choose today. Where it would lead me, do I choose to go. What it would have me do, I choose to do. Your way is certain and the end secure. The memory of you awaits me there, and all my sorrows end in your embrace, which you have promised to your son, who thought mistakenly that he had wandered from the sure protection of your loving arms. Ooh, that was a long sentence. I'm going to read it again. And all my sorrows end in your embrace, which you have promised to your child, who thought mistakenly that he had wandered from the sure protection of your loving arms. And we can never wander away from the protection of his loving arms. A Course in Miracles likens us who are in this dream and the illusion as the prodigal son we are ever welcome the father welcomes us always he welcomes us uh let's see i follow in the way appointed me so in the way appointed me is doing god's will And uh, anytime you feel off track, you can do Ho'oponopono. You say to divinity, I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Or I love you. I love you. I love you. Or thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, those are clearing phrases. You can pick one of the groups. Those are clearing phrases, but you may be inspired to do something else. Um, for a time, I was reading prayers from Susan Shumsky. And every once in a while, I'll be inspired to read a prayer from one of her books. Uh, or to, you might even be inspired to say an affirmation over and over and over to yourself or think of a concept over and over in your mind. And um, Ho'oponopono, I like to thinking like to think <laughs> I liken it to a stepping stone it's the starting point and the Holy Spirit divinity Jesus will lead you where to go next and that could be a prayer an affirmation or to read a book to speak to a person to listen to what's going on around you and get wisdom from the conversations going on around you. Okay, so that is it for today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Talk to you later. Bye.